Hoy nuestra cita es en Freeze, New York. Por segundo año consecutivo, la tradicional feria londinense se presenta a orillas del East River en la isla Randalls. Vengan conmigo. Background of this culture. Anna Molska is a young Polish artist who does this amazing work, installation works, and film work. And this piece is from uh, 2013, and it's called uh, the Sixth Continent. And uh, this glass sculpture became part of a really great body of work uh, Anna started to do, which is based on the archive of her grandfather. Her grandfather was an Antarctic explorer. by a Japanese artist called Shimabuku, who is a mid-career artist based in Berlin now. And uh, this artist is somehow a kind of a poet and a traveler. And he does a lot of performances, but he does also some still works. Uh, and this one is a little like a Japanese garden. Uh, and it's actually titled Onion Orion. And the onion I placed on the, on the wood uh, plinth in order to show the constellation Orion. Ah, that's so very the, the point of the star. This is a, an artist from Scotland, from Glasgow, called Jim Lambie, um, whose work, he's a sculptor, and he makes uh, works that are sometimes related to music. Oh. Um, this piece, for instance, this is called Metal Box, and Metal Box is the name of the uh, very famous album by um, Public Image Limited. Um, and it's, this whole series is called Metal Box, um, and um, these are sheets of ali painted aluminium, and this is polished here. The, the form of this sculpture relates a little bit to uh, posters in the street that are um, layered on top of each other and then the, the corners curl, curl up in, the, in weather. Estamos con el artista americano Dan Graham y we are going to ask you Dan, um, what is your latest project in Brazil? I heard you just finished a big big project down there. Uh, in, in, uh, it's actually Lena, uh, the Council of Gilgrist uh, uh, used the Lena Robardi Foundation to do projects in Lena Robardi House. Uh, not very interesting house, but she also designed uh, Pompe Pompeia, uh, this wonderful factory community center. Yes. Uh, and, I, and I did something actually for, uh, for that factory. Oh, that's very interesting. But it seems that now Sao Paulo, there's an art fair there, also Rio de Janeiro. Uh, and a lot of people, I was just in a show in Rome, and many people were in Sao Paulo and saw the piece. That's very interesting. Um, why, for example, why today we find you at a uh, Why? Well, yes. act actually, I wanted to see uh, uh, my dealer, Massimo Manini, is in town, uh, is here, <laughs> uh, also listening to the gallery. But the reason I came uh, is uh, Walter Koenig Bookshop uh, published a book on my favorite architect. architect uh, Who is your favorite architect? Uh, actually, Bauer. Oh, that's uh, they're from their their husband and wife from uh, from from Japan, and it's very expensive. But I want to get a super discount, <laughs> so I'm here to ask for a discount. This is a work by an artist by the name of Abraham Cruz Viegas. Abraham lives and works in Mexico City, and it's an extremely exciting time for Abraham right now because he has a very large exhibition at the Walker Museum that's dedicated to his work, which is a survey of works of around 10 years. So we wanted to bring a work to the fair and feature it here to show what he's up to today. That's very interesting. And what the sculpture is about? What is the background? The sculpture starts a new body of work that's called Auto Destruction. Abraham's previous body of work, which is on view at the Walker, is called Auto Construction, which is about a building of an identity. And this work represents a great shift in what he'll be making in the future, which stems around this idea of auto destruction. Estamos con 
Tara, eh, parte del de staff de la Galería Curling de Dublin. Eh, Dara, tell us a little about uh, this installation here in, the, in your booth in Frise. It's by Isabel Nolan. She's an Irish artist. Okay. And this is a proposition for a rug. In 1894, in a psychiatric hospital in Germany, in the middle of the night, a woman, Mary Lebb, tore all her bed sheets up and created the most beautiful and elaborate carpet that could never be walked on. She did this twice while she was a patient at the hospital in 1894, and there's two photographs in existence. So this was a starting point for Isabel to recreate the possible arrangement that that rug might have been. So these are rolled steel bars stitched into fabric, and there's also a suite of photographs that describe the work and uh, the, the different possible arrangements that one might have. Y así terminamos nuestro, eh, nuestra edición de hoy. Espero que se suscriban a mi canal y también los voy a ver la próxima semana en el próximo capítulo sobre arte. Chao, chao.